Welcome to my channel. This is my very first YouTube video. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're just going to kind of go with it. Um, first thing I ever wanted to do was a beach wave hair tutorial that I do every day. This is second day hair, um, but we're just going to kind of jazz it up. Everyone always asks me, how do I get my hair to look like this? It's really super simple. So just hang on with me and then we're just going to go through it and hopefully everyone will be able to figure it out. Okay, so a few things that I've already did. This is second day hair. I've already washed it Thursday. Duh, Thursday. Uh, put dry shampoo in it. My ride or die dry shampoo is Batiste. Any kind, any smell, really, aside from the tinted. I don't really care for the tinted, but it's good. If you have dark roots, and you need to kind of cover up some gray so you can get to the slough, if you know what I mean. All right, and then I love Kristen S. Scalp and Hair Milk Oil. This is something I bought at Target. You have to shake it up, and a little bit goes a long way, you guys. But I just put a little bit on my ends because a girl needs a trim, and uh, these split ends are like crying for help. So it's Kristen S. I don't know if you can see that very well hair milk. You can actually put it on your scalp um, before you wash your hair. Just kind of let it sit in and it's like a deep conditioner if your scalp is really dry. So a few things you're going to need to be able to do this tutorial. It's pretty simple. Uh, I have a teasing comb because what southern girl doesn't have a teasing comb. And then a wide tooth comb just for detangling. And I love this Kristen S. Soft Shine Beach Wave Spray. We put that on last. And it's like $10, $14 at Target. Her stuff is really good, you guys, uh, if you ever want to try that out. And then Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray. You've got to have something on your hair to protect it. And this has been one I've used for quite some time now, a couple of years. So I've gone through plenty of bottles. Um, L'Oreal Paris Elnet Satin Unscented because... The regular one works really well, but it smells so. And it's not this is not really unscented, but you know whatever. And then got to be powerful volumizing styling powder because who doesn't like more volume, right? So all right, so we're gonna get started. I use a Hot Tools one inch curling wand, basic at Ulta. Um, if you have a curling iron. You can just unscrew the clamp and you have a curling wand. So you don't have to go out and buy a curling wand uh, just to be able to do this. And you could actually just curl your hair, um, not using the clamp, just wrap your hair around the clamp. I set it all the way to 430 because I like it to be really hot. And then you're gonna need a flat iron. This is Babyliss or Babyliss or one of those. It's just a regular, flat iron. I've had it for years. It's, in my opinion, better than Chi, and I just have it on like 340, really low. You're not going to use too much of this. Um, first thing I always do, I have like really bad cowlicks and like, like that. So I always just kind of go through with my flat iron a little bit and just kind of chill out whatever's going on up here. I usually try and sleep with my hair up in a scrunchie. Who loves that scrunchies are coming back? Oh my goodness. I love them so much. I used to wear them in my hair, tie them on my shirt. I'd tie them around my wrist. I just had, I mean, I had insane amount of scrunchies from Claire's. I lived at Claire's when I was a kid. So you just kind of make sure there's no tangles and then I blast my roots a little bit just to kind of smooth it out. And then just gonna take a section, that same section really, smooth it out again. Take your teasing comb and just tease a little bit. And if you tease like this, don't do that. You gotta tease like down and out 
and pack it. Okay, looks a little goofy, but I promise you, it's gonna it's gonna be okay. All right, so we're gonna get curling, I promise. So I like to section my hair left and right. My hair's not super thick, so I don't section up and do a bottom layer. I just do all of it at once. Spray a little bit of your heat protectant. Look at that highlight though. Oh, okay. There we go. And then again, just kind of brush it out. Make sure everything's smooth. Don't want any tangles. And I always hold my hair and brush my ends because I feel like since I do color my hair that I do have some damage and I'm prone to breakage. All right, so with your curling wand, I'm just gonna start on one side. I leave my bangs for last. It's just something that I like to do and just take about a one inch section of hair. I always brush through it. And then here's the trick. Some people hold it like, like this. I hold it down like I'm going to stab somebody with this, right? So you want your wand behind and then wrap, wrap, and leave the ends out. Only hold for like five seconds and let it go. I'm not one to like set my curls. I don't really care for that. You could pin them, but because my hair has some grit to it with it being second day hair, I don't really have to do that. And I do like to change the direction of my wave instead of it all being facing away from my face, I do like to take some of my sections and put my wand in front and curl that way. That way it really gives you like some extra body and dimension because not everything's going the same way. You don't want uniformed curls. This is not what this look is about. This is about a simple everyday, but people would think that you just went to the beach or you went to the salon and had it done. Which by the way, if you live in my area, you have to go see my girl, Madison, at the warehouse salon. All the girls there are amazing. I always get questions about where I go to do my balayage and I really only go maybe twice a year and it's really good. All those girls are great. Alright, so that side is done aside from my bang and I don't like a really tight curl around my face. I just kind of like a little bump. So. I only wrap around once and then I do this weird like thing. Did you see that? I don't know. It works because look, it's soft. It's not anything too curly cue. Turn up my brightness a little bit. Okay. And second side. And literally, I could get this done in like 10 minutes if I wasn't just chit-chatting about it. Wrap. <clears throat> and if you guys happen to try out this tutorial, tag me in it on Instagram. Muse by Lola or DM me your photos. I would love to see how this look turned out for you. And 
this is literally, I mean, I, I wear my hair like this almost every day. I don't care for straight hair. But if I don't wear it like this, it's up in a bun or in a clip because there's just some days that dry shampoo just can't save my hair. And I haven't been washing my hair every day probably since like 2010. I go about three to four days, sometimes a little longer, just depending on my level of activity. And don't you hate like when your social events don't line up with your hair washing days? Struggle books. Almost done and I didn't burn myself. <clears throat> Okay, and I'm going to show you this bang again. I just wrap it kind of once, and then I kind of go up and down, and I hold it taut, and then just drop it, just flip it back. Okay, so it looks kind of flat, kind of boring. And the next thing I do... I take my ends when it's still separate like that take my ends and brush them out just a little bit and then I take my flat iron and straighten out my ends because when you have that beachy look you have straight wave and then straight it's kind of PC again on this side through. You can do your front layer. Okay. And then just kind of shake it out. I don't like to brush it out. Just kind of. That was sexy, right? <clears throat> and then the next thing I do, I flip it on one side. And then if there's anything that I feel like is not curled right, I don't like the look of it, I'll go back in again and touch it up. I do this look with uh, clip-in extensions as well. It's same technique once you put your extensions in except it takes you a little bit longer because it's so thick and then flip it on the other side kind of don't like that piece and again you can switch your direction you make this one kind of go under You could also do this with a flat iron. I don't particularly like to curl my hair with a flat iron because I feel like it's so much stress on my hair having to pull it through. But everything looks pretty much exactly how it always does. There's always like one curl that I love out of all the other ones. You hear whining it's my dog I don't really know what she's whining about probably because she's not getting any attention but she's totally fine it's in her bed comfortable it's a nice 72 degrees in the house she's just grumpy today I climbed, trimmed her nails so she kind of hates the world okay next step Take your Kristen S or any kind of beach spray. I've used um, the Not Your Mother's sea salt spray. I think John Frieda has a beach babe or something kind of spray. I've used all of those. Um, I really don't have a preference. This is just something that I've tried uh, and I kind of just use it till it's gone and then find another that I like. So this is really, you kind of only want to go from like mid shaft down. You don't want to do your roots because um, it's just going to make it not. You don't want any texture on your roots. 
So just spray, I like to pick it up, spray to make sure that I get. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. Her stuff is really good. I've been impressed. I wanna try out some of her hair washing because I've only ever bought some of her styling products. And then we're almost done. I know I keep saying that. I'm gonna take my volumizing powder because I like a little more oomph on my roots and just take a little bit. I mean, you don't need a lot. And then just go into your side of your hair. It's like teasing without the damage just kind of work it in so you see how much more volume than this side and just take another small amount and then just work it in your roots and then I like to take just a little more and go right here so I have some lift And then before we hairspray, I take my teasing comb again and take just a little section and tease just a little bit underneath for some more body. And that's why I love these kind of combs because it's sections for you. You don't have to worry about doing it yourself. I mean, I think it turned out really great. I think second day hair is my favorite. So once you kind of find out which waves you like and fix it up and tease where you want, you can spray it. I usually make sure to spray right in my front first and kind of lay down any flyaways. You okay over there? I don't know what her problem is today. And just spray just a little bit and then I spray around my front. And this is a really good hairspray. I've used it for a long time now. And it's soft enough to where you can brush it out and respray if needed without it getting all built up. So that's it, you guys. That is my daily routine my beach waves but make sure you comment and subscribe if you like this video and comment and let me know what you want me to do next I'm kind of thinking about just like an everyday makeup routine uh, and then I'm gonna link some of the products that I used on my face today because that highlighter is just so good all right thanks for watching I'll see you next time.